if your gears are jumping or they're just not shifting as smoothly and as quickly as you think they should, then you probably just need to adjust them. So here's GCN's guide on how to index your gears. And it should work for Campagnolo, Shimano and SRAM gears. So how does indexing actually work? Well, your shifter pulls a set amount of cable for each click. And that cable pull then moves the derailleur a corresponding amount, which just so happens to be the exact distance between the cogs. It's a simple system, but it works brilliantly. Now, if your derailleur doesn't sit exactly beneath each cog in turn when you're changing gear, then the gears are not indexed, which is at which point then they're gonna be working badly. And it's the process of indexing to correct that and to move the derailleur into the right place. And you can micro adjust it very simply by turning this little dial here, which is called the barrel adjuster. And that effectively makes the cable tighter or looser and therefore moves the derailleur a small amount. So at the moment, the gears are indexed. But you can hear, as I just move it half a turn, three quarters of a turn, full turn, there you go. So we haven't shifted, you can see then that the cable's moving. So that's the principle of it. To index them is really straightforward. So if your gears aren't working smoothly, then it could well be the indexing that's the problem. So here is how to adjust it. And if you're setting up your rear derailleur from scratch, then we've got a video explaining exactly how to do that. You can click on the link just over there. Before we get started with the indexing, even if your gears have been set up before, there's one check you should always make, and that is for the limiter screws. So those are these two here, and they limit how far the derailleur can move, either outwards, so essentially stopping your chain falling off this side of the cassette, or inwards, effectively stopping your chain falling off that side of the cassette and into the spokes. So very simply, move the derailleur by hand, so don't touch the shifter, and then you can see whether or not the derailleur is directly underneath the biggest sprocket and then at the back there, directly underneath that one. And if it's not, it's simply a case of adjusting these limiter screws here. So if you turn it in clockwise, this is the high limiter screw, which so that's the smallest cog there. And you can see the derailleur is moving simply by being delimited. Right then, now to actually index the gears. It's worth bearing in mind that all indexing is done using that barrel adjuster there. So once the limit screws are set, we leave them be. So everything now is just gonna be here. Okay, so we need to be in the smallest sprocket at the back still, and then also stick it in your little ring as well. We'll index it whilst the chain is on the little ring and then we'll check all the gears to make sure they're still working perfectly when it's on the big ring. If there's any discrepancy between the two, it might mean that there's an issue with alignment, but we'll check on that later on. Okay, so now to get started, shift up one click and you can see that nothing's happening. It's just making a racket. So start turning the barrel adjuster anti-clockwise until the chain moves onto the next sprocket. Now it's still not gonna be indexed perfectly there, but try moving it into the next biggest sprocket and then turn the barrel adjuster until it moves into that one. And then change down and repeat the process. Still not quite there, so more tension, another anti-clockwise quarter turn. And we can see that in those three sprockets, it's now working. So let's try the rest of them. That looks pretty good. It is essentially as simple as that. Let's try the big ring as well. Cool. 
So remember that if the chain isn't shifting properly going up the cassette, so into easier lower gears, then you need to screw the barrel adjuster anti-clockwise to make the cable tighter. And if it's slow to go back down the cassette, so into higher gears, then you unscrew it clockwise to decrease the tension and then move the chain back that way. Sometimes though, it doesn't quite go as easily as that. So if you're struggling to index your gears, here are four tips that might help you. Now, first of all, if you can index it going up the cassette, so into easier, lower gears, but you're struggling to indexing it coming back down, it's highly likely that it's down to your cables. So when a cable gets worn and it's old, it gets loads and loads of friction in the system. Too much friction, in fact, for the little spring in that derailleur to overcome, so that derailleur struggles to move the chain back down onto smaller cogs. So in that instance, it's then just a case of replacing the cables. But we've got a video showing you how to do that, and you can click on the link just over there. Now, second thing, if you can index your gears on the work stand, but then when you get on the road, your gears are jumping around all over the place, then it's highly likely that it's probably down to your chain or your cassette being worn. So in that case, you probably need to replace either or both of those, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's worthwhile. The third thing to check is your wheel. Now, make sure that the wheel is aligned in the frame properly. That's quite a simple mistake to make. But then the other thing is if you've just changed wheels recently, you might have to re-index your gears, particularly if it's a different manufacturer. So obviously, you rely completely on the position of the cassette here. And if you change wheels and the cassette is in a slightly different place, then it's gonna put your indexing out. The final thing to check, and it actually crops up quite regularly, is the alignment of the rear derailleur. So have a look from behind and make sure that the derailleur is sitting straight. You can do it by eye, but the best thing to do is probably to head into your local bike shop who will in all likelihood have a tool like this which checks the alignment for you. So that's your gears indexed. Remember that to index them, you use the barrel adjuster at the back turn it anti-clockwise to move the derailleur ever so slightly inboard and clockwise to move the derailleur outboard. If it's not working, you need to check firstly your cables to make sure that they're running smoothly. Then if it's jumping around after you got off the work stand, you probably need to look at your chain and your cassette for wear. Also remember that if you're swapping wheels, then that might move your indexing in and out of line. And then finally, check the alignment of your rear derailleur and correspondingly the mech hanger as well. If you'd like a more thorough look on just how to set up your rear derailleur, click on that video up there. And if you'd like to know how to change your chain, then click on that video just there. And remember that to subscribe to GCN, all you've got to do is click on me.